happy Monday. Happy, very hot Monday. I think the temp right now is about 95, 96. I don't know what the heat index is, but it is so hot. All I did was walk the yard to pick up poop and I'm sweating and feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> yes, us, nor us northerners are not used to this heat and it's been going on about five days now and it's gonna be going on for probably another week. Oh my goodness. Yes, we are not used to that up here. It'll get hot, maybe really hot, um, above 90, um, maybe five days and then it'll cool off and get in the 80s. This is just, <laughs> this is terrible. Um, I put a picture on my Facebook page, uh, Chanel's around Facebook page being out here with uh, the boys with the sun going down because that's about all I can stand it out here with them. Um, they can't even stand it out here. We've only been out here maybe five minutes for me to clean up landmines and everybody's panting and hot and needs drinks. Yes, got to make sure you have plenty of fresh water, fresh cold water uh, for the boys. I have their cooling mat out here, um, but they're not staying out here very long. It's kind of like um, winter time in Michigan right now for the boys. They come out, they do their business, and then we get back in. My husband bought that little pool, and I told him they don't like it. <laughs> they use it as a big drinking dish. <laughs> but the other day, when we were sitting outside, um, we had a little bit of water in it, and we'd just stick them in there for their feet and cool them off a little. Yeah, they just think it's a big water bowl. <laughs> Let me change my shoes here. Get my poop shoes off, and get my sandals back on. Uh oh, you guys got a leaf in your water and some grass. Yeah, I'm constantly, about every hour when I let them out or so, I got to put fresh cold water in there. I put po uh, popsicles. I put ice, ice in it and it melts like within five minutes. <laughs> it doesn't stay, the ice doesn't stay very long. So, all right, I'm going to get them inside and then I wanted to say a couple thank yous to people. So I'll be right back. It's a lot cooler in the house, isn't it? Yes, it's a lot cooler in the house, isn't it? It's about 68 degrees in the house. Oh, you walk in and it feels like you're in, um, in the Antarctic <laughs> in the house. Oh my goodness, so much nicer. Sometimes my husband likes it cold and sometimes I have to put on a long sleeve um, shirt because it's so cold in here. When, if you're not doing anything and you're just kind of sitting around, it's a little chilly in here. Um, but I'm not going to complain because outside is miserable. Looks like my camera's a little fogged. Hold on, guys. I don't actually know where the lens thing is. Maybe it's just from the light coming in. I don't know. Um, so, I wanted to say a couple thank yous. Um, if you don't know... Miggy and Milo both recently had birthdays. Miggy turned seven on July 2nd and Milo turned two um, yesterday, July 5th. Yeah, I believe it was yesterday. Yes, yesterday, <laughs> July 5th. So they both had birthdays and I wanna thank Emily for the cards you sent for the boys and their gift. I want to thank Erin. She sent a, I don't know if it's in the house. Let me go, let me go over here and look. She sent Miggy and Milo a bag. Oh, yep, it's right here. She sent Miggy and Milo a squeaky basketball, and they love it. They've taken it outside a couple times, too, <laughs> to play with it. Um, Milo must, somebody must have brought it back in. Um, I want to say thank you to Judith. She, um sent the boys a, um, or online, a Chewy.com gift card for the boys' birthday. So thank you, Judith. Um, and I want to thank Lisa for sending a donation towards Mozzie's vet bill um, for his hospitalization stay when he had his pancreatitis. I appreciate it very much, Lisa, um, and thank you so much. So I just want to get those thank yous out of the way before I forget. Um, what did... Miggy get for his birthday. A lot of people wanted to know, Miggy, if you got a new ball. Did you get a new ball for your birthday, Miggy? <laughs> he did. <laughs> he got a couple. He got this right here for his birthday. 
He really likes it. Yes, he really likes it. Yes, he does. Magnum really liked that too. And then he got three of these Kong um, tennis balls and they squeak. You know who likes this? Merlin. He likes these when you squeak them and roll them. Merlin loves these. It's hilarious. Yes. So he got those and then Milo got this little pheasant toy and he got this crinkly uh, pizza. Yes. You like your crinkly pizza, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't keep you on camera. <laughs> yeah, he likes his little pizza. You seeing what Mozzie's doing? You trying to see what Mozzie's looking at? <laughs> yeah, Mickey really likes this ball. Where did I get it? I got it at PetSmart, I believe. You like your ball, Mickey? He wants to get that tennis ball out of there. <laughs> Watch out, you're walking on to Mozzie, Miggy. Yeah, he really likes this ball. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about $10. Um, anyways, so yes, and I, I did not get them Frosty Paws. Um, since I'm trying to keep their treats very low fat, I made, I bought some um, plain non-fat yogurt. Uh, put them in ice cube trays and then in one tray I put a couple pieces of Mozzie's prescription, prescription low fat food. And then in another tray I put a couple blueberries in the yogurt. So, um, they had those for their birthday treats. Milo, why are your ears flip back? Milo, come here. Come here. <laughs> Let me fix your ears. There you go. You gonna flip them back again, huh? You gonna flip them back again? You want up here? You want up here? Okay. <laughs> you want up to say hi? And say thank you for all the birthday wishes? Yes. So yeah, they uh, they had those for their birthday treat. Um, uh, what was the other questions people were asking? Oh, a lot of people wanted to know how uh, the boys did during 4th of July with the fireworks. Um, I made sure to have all the boys outside before dark to do their business and and then I put them in their crates for a couple hours until the most of the fireworks were done. There was still some straggly, straggling uh, fireworks um, after the main, you know, when it first gets dark, that's when all the fireworks are going off. And then there's some random ones. That's what I should call them. Random <laughs> fireworks going off through the night. Um, uh, and then I let them out again. I stayed up till one o'clock. I didn't let them back out till one o'clock in the morning, um, and walked around outside with them. The only ones, Mickey's very bothered by them. And I've noticed Milo and Max now are scared too, uh, to where it didn't really bother them last year, but now they're scared too. So yeah, I waited. So I probably let them out about nine, nine thirty. kept them in their crates for a couple of hours, let them back out when the big booms were over. And then let them back outside about one in the morning to do their business for the night. So, yeah. Look at Mickey. He loves that ball. I'd recommend it for any of your dog, any of you that have dogs that love playing fetch and like balls like Mickey. He loves it. <laughs> um, what was another question I was getting the past couple days? Oh, a lot of people want to know how the boys are doing on their new diet since I've been um, giving them homemade food along with their dry food and everybody's been doing good. No one has any, had any problems. No one's had any poop problems. They're all normal, firm poops. Um, no one's thrown up. Um, I did have to buy a little, uh, food processor. Hold on guys. My son's coming down. I was wrong. I thought my son was coming downstairs and he, he doesn't really like to be on video. So um, he was just making some weird noises playing his video games up there. <laughs> um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no one's had any problems, uh, with their digestive system with being on the, uh, homemade food plus they're dry. Um, I'm still working on, um, getting how much I want to feed them of the whole, the homemade food, uh, to the dry. With the homemade food, I'm mainly trying to figure out how much I should be giving them a day because I don't want anybody getting fat. I don't anybody want anybody getting too lean. So 
I'm trying to work out the weight of the food because I've been um, weighing it on a kitchen scale. Um, so I'm giving everybody the same amount of ounces. Um, because when I first started, I was just kind of putting it in the bowl and I thought, I can't do this. I've got to know how much I'm giving them because I don't want anybody overweight or underweight. So I'm still experimenting with that. So maybe once I get it down of what I'm doing and I'm happy with it, maybe then I'll share what I'm doing. But right now I don't want to share what I'm feeding them and how much um, until I get that perfected on how I want it. So um, that way... Because if I tell you now, it could be totally something different next week that I'm doing. So <laughs> I figure I'll wait until I get all that figured out to share what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, so that's what's been going on. It was it was a nice weekend, even though it was hot. Um, we had some family come in to town, had lunch with them. It was really nice. Um, what else? Yeah, we didn't really do much. We cooked out 4th of July. We made some hamburgers and hot dogs and uh, cooked out and bought some sides. Um, tuna mac salad, potato salad, rotini salad from a little place down the road here. Um, it's called Charcoal Charlie's. He does, uh, he smokes a bunch of meats and uh, has sides and stuff. It's really good, but we just got the sides to go along with our hot dogs and hamburgers because we didn't really want to cook anything but that just grill up the burgers and hot dogs and be done with it <laughs> just something simple since it was so hot out we didn't want to be standing over a grill um for hours cooking up any kind of spectacular ribs or anything like that so <laughs> so anyways it was a nice weekend um I also wanted to say I'm gonna start trying to film Monday through Friday um, they could be short videos. They could be long videos of me rambling. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to look like, but I need to start doing a video every Monday through Friday because I've noticed with home cooking for six dogs is quite ex going to be quite expensive. So um, I need to get the videos out more and I'm hoping you guys will subscribe if you're new, share the videos, tell people about our videos if you think they'd enjoy them. Let the ads play through um, on the video if you can stand them. <laughs> I'm guilty of skipping ads, um, especially some of these ads are like three, four minutes long. And I'm like, no, skip. So I don't blame you guys if they're long ads. But if they're short ones, if you could let them play through, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and if you're shopping on Amazon, I have an Amazon link down below. Um... It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a little kickback if you use that link. If you're shopping on Amazon anyways, um, we'd greatly appreciate it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. I need to sit here and cool off a little bit, and then I've got to water all my flowers. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my flower bed out front. If you remember when we first moved in, we had planted a bunch of flowers out here. I wanted to show you how pretty they look right now. I just love looking at them. Some of the lilies over, let me see if I can get my feet. Right here I've got some lilies that haven't opened up yet. But I think everything we planted last year um, came back this year. So I was very excited. <laughs> so yeah, let me see. Can I zoom back out? Here we go. Yeah, so they look really pretty. I'm excited they all lived. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope everybody has a great week. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.